Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming with a Purpose. In this video, I am going to show you what are the different changes and features that are introduced by WWDC 23 into the widget kit. So let's get started. So here I'm going to show you how you can add different type of animations to your text. For that purpose, I have added a numeric test text with the variable name favorite and added it to my struct simple entry. And it extends now hashable, which is necessary if you want to basically use the push statement that I'm going to show you in a while. And after that, I have written a custom hasher function. So you can copy all of these code details from here. As a next step, you will see uh, there are various errors inside the code. I am going to fix all of these one by one. And in the function download images, I am going to add a counter value that will correspond to the favorite. This is just to create a timeline with multiple values so that we can be able to see the numeric value changing over time and we will be able to animate it. So here I am simplifying the UI which is basically I have removed all the switch cases of the family for the different sizes of widgets. So I have kept just one size across all of these three sizes. Uh, I have copied the V stack uh, from the medium size image and after that I have added an ID entry. This ID entry is basically the requirement for the simple entry to conform to Hashable and then there is a transition and we can only use it if we have ios 16 or above so we are going to add a simple check to check uh, this should work if our ios is greater than 16.
so you have seen that the push statement is working and the image is being changed and the new image is pushed from the bottom with the animation so the push is working for our v stack Now I have commented out the push statement and I have run the code again and you can see that a different form of animations takes place when the image is changed. So basically I guess it is the default spring animation. So you can change it according to your needs by using the code that I have already shown you. Another step is basically the creation of an H tag that will display an image which is a simple system name hard.fill image and after that there is a text which will correspond to a favorite count and I am going to animate it using bouncy animation with the duration and the value is entry.favorite and see how it works over a timeline. So I played the code and as you can see that the value is changing with proper animation on the numeric text. Uh, both of these changes can only be applied if you have iOS 16 or above. So this is all for this tutorial. So this is all I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial series and you have learned something from it and you will be now able to implement nice uh, looking widgets using the code that i have provided there is also interactivity introduced by wwdc 23 i will uh, discuss it in some other tutorial in future stay tuned and uh, do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching